What's up guys, Hannah Gracie. Welcome to the neighborhood Ralph's store. Um, normally my father goes to the produce market in Los Angeles, buys you know, lots of fruits for the whole family for the whole week, but uh, he's a little delayed. He hasn't gone this week yet, so we're running out of fruits at the house, so I'm coming here to Ralph's to buy my fruits for the next couple of days. Um, I want to use this opportunity to teach you guys a very important lesson. I want to teach you guys how to choose the fruits properly, okay? Now, some fruits are in season, some fruits are not in season. When a fruit isn't in season and you choose it, you risk it being bad no matter what. But when it's in season, there's perfect techniques and strategies you want to use to make sure you get the best selection of fruit. Starting with the cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Okay? When you're choosing a cantaloupe, generally speaking, you have a field test. First, you go for the field test. When you're feeling a cantaloupe, what you're looking for is, of course, the belly button. You want a little indentation. Look at how it goes in a little bit. This is good. Okay, that's a good, you want a little mushiness here. You check the whole thing to make sure there are no bruises, it's not messed up, broken, because if one bruise gets in, it could rot the melon from the inside out. So this one's good. Coloration for the, for the cantaloupe. You're looking for, check this out. Look at the difference. One is green. Between the veins here, you have green. That's no good. It's not ripe yet. Between these veins, it's more yellow, yellow green. This is better. So you want a little more yellowish and a slight indentation, and you're good to go. Plus, look at the size of this guy. Look at the size of this one. We're taking him. Okay. Normally you get two little cantaloupes or one big one. I'm taking one big one today because uh, it's enormous. Let's talk about honeydew melons. Now cantaloupes, just to be very clear, cantaloupes and watermelons are summer fruits. So we're in spring right now, so these might not be amazing, but we did our best in the selection process. Honeydew melons are spring and summer. Honeydew is spring and summer. Check it out. Of course, just start grabbing the melon, just start grabbing them. Okay? Once you find one that has a little bit of indentation, a little soft to the touch, that's the one you want. You check it out further. So we do a quick scan. I found one that's pretty soft, but look, excessive bruising, okay? This one's been beaten and battered too much. Too much, I'm not gonna take it. Sometimes the best ones are in the back. Yeah, I found a good one. Yeah, it's a little soft to the touch right here. Now also, inside, you can hear sometimes if you shake it, you hear the seeds are moving around. That tells you that it's very ripe on the inside, ready to be eaten. So a shake test for the honeydew, plus a little bit of pressure, make sure we have no bruises. Okay, this one's good, we're taking this one. Now, watermelons, most important one of all. Check it out. Someone forgot their sunglasses here, okay? Someone forgot their sunglasses. I'm gonna take this to the front desk and uh, make sure they get it back. Now, watermelons, smack test, the most important test here. Can you hear this? Can you hear this? Which one would you choose? Look, nothing. See how hollow it sounds? That's what you're looking for. We're looking for the hollow sound on the watermelon. This one's beautiful. Once you have the hollow sound from the general drum test, once you have the general sound test of all the smack, now, there's one problem. When you start smacking melons like this, people go a little crazy. Like, if the store clerk sees me smacking their melons, sometimes they try to attack. So it's very important to learn how to defend yourself, Gracie Jiu Jitsu all the way, 100%. So, this one sounds good. Then you do a gross examination, you check it out, make sure there are no bruises, not cut anywhere. And I think this might be good. Again, watermelons are a summer fruit. So the fact that we're in spring right now, we still run some risk, but guess what? I need my watermelon. So even if it's 80%, I'm gonna take it. Okay, so you're looking for the hollow sound, and always take the biggest one, okay? This is a pretty, pretty, pretty big melon. Okay, we're moving. Watermelons, melons are good, melons are good. Follow me, follow me. Banana time. <laughs> now, time to talk about bananas. Bananas, of course, most important thing. Smoothies, you gotta do it right, you gotta do it with bananas. Now, check it out. Normally at the store they put the ripest ones up front. And here we have some good ones. These bananas are about one day away. With the little greenness here, you can check the bottom. The bottom, we have some green. And up top, we have some green. Okay, these are pretty good. No excessive bruising. This is a little bit here, but I'll eat this within a day or two, so it's not gonna grow too, too much bad, too much worse. But uh, these right here are about a week and a half from being good. So my father's recommendation is to buy some bananas for today, so you get the ripest ones you can find, and then you buy some a little bit greener for four or five days from now, so you have a stock up. You don't buy all ripe ones right now, because then they're all gonna be ripe too fast, faster than you can eat them, okay? So bananas, we'll get some ripe ones here. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I'm thinking these might be our ripest shot right here. Even though they're a little bit green at the ed edges right here, these are the ripest ones. If they had some freckles, they'd be even better, okay? Freckles are good. 
peppers are good. And we'll get some for a couple days from now. Look, a little more green here, a little more green. Okay, a little bit of green, a little bit of green, all good, no excessive bruising. And we're good there. Now, you guys, remember in the last video we talked about dates, dates, okay? Look at this, they have dates over here. They have dates, come around, come around, come around. Dates. We already talked about this. There's a whole video dedicated to these guys, okay? I have some at home already, so I'm not going to get any, but these are Medjool dates at Ralph's. Okay, if you have a Ralph's nearby, go check it out. They come to see the red box. You guys already know this. You guys already know this. Now, we have some mangoes also. Mangoes are amazing. Now, keep in mind, right, just mangoes are a spring fruit also. Keep in mind, we do have, mangoes are an acid fruit, okay? They're acid, so they can't be eaten with anything else. Mangoes are needed to be consumed by themselves, their own separate meal. So when choosing a mango, we look for slightly soft, no excessive bruising. The reddish yellow color is better than the green. The green is still too hard. Okay, so we're looking for reddish yellow, too hard. Here we go, softer. Softer, we want slightly soft, okay, same thing. And uh, you get about, uh, I eat about six or eight of these for breakfast, about once or twice a month. That's my, you know, acid fruit meal. You can also do that with oranges, same thing. I get about, you know, 15 or 20 oranges, make it happen. Oranges are easy selection when they're in season. Oranges and apples are winter fruits, okay? So when it's winter, take those full advantage. But uh, I think we got the most of it. Check this out, papayas right here. He don't makes one, my brother, he don't makes a smoothie with the papaya, it's very good. When choosing a papaya, you're looking for the yellowish, same thing. They come in a variety of sizes, but you choose one. Uh, papayas always have some bruising on them. Don't panic, it's not a huge deal. It doesn't mean it's a bad fruit. When you get inside, it's normally okay, but uh, you're looking for a slight mushiness as well, slight softness to the touch. And uh, you can be very creative with these. If you want to know how to use these most effectively, check out Hedon's uh, smoothie video. Hedon's favorite smoothie, papaya, cantaloupe, and banana. Incredible, incredible. Okay, let's see what else we got. I think we're clear. I think we're clear for this one. So you guys, most important thing, know the seasons, know the melon selection techniques. Bananas are easy, they're year round, and uh, you're good to go, okay, you're good to go. And remember, if you use the technique and it's still bad, it's because it's not in season. Don't lose faith. Keep training, and no matter what, one day you'll make it to the top. Keep it real. Thanks for joining me.